It's 1.45 in the morning. This is what we're up to. Honestly, I had a latte like five hours ago, so I'm doing fine. <laughs> and kind of my strategy for the international flight since it leaves at 3 p.m. is to not get a lot of sleep tonight so that I can sleep on the plane and convince myself that it's nighttime even though it's 3 p.m. Chicago time because I land in Italy at 8 a.m. Anyway, I'm kind of going crazy and I've been procrastinating packing for this Italy trip for so long because it's just so daunting, like nine, 10 days. I don't even know really how long I'm gone because the time zone is so confusing. But yeah, it's just such a daunting task to pack but here we are doing it at the very last possible hour the day of my flight which is today even though I haven't slept yet I'm going early in the morning I was planning on doing a workout at 6 a.m. like a workout class that is clearly not happening but I do have a dry bar appointment at 8 a.m. before I need to log on to work for like two hours and then start heading to the airport I also need to pick up a few things from Walgreens that I'm realizing when packing that I haven't picked up yet so we got a lot going on. Yeah, I can't believe it's 2 a.m. And the coffee, it really did something. I feel like I'm like up late at night studying for a test. That's how I feel right now. It's like I'm, I'm cosplaying being in college again. But yeah, I am packing for a 10 day trip to Sicily, a la White Lotus season two in one carry on plus a personal item. So this is my personal item. She's from base. We love her. And this is my carry on. She's from London Fog. We also love her. We're gonna be putting everything into this. I just can't believe I'm up right now. Like, this is insane. So, I thought it'd be fun to go over with you guys everything that I'm packing. I already have my airplane fit all picked out. Just a hoodie, sweatpants, really cozy because I wanna just sleep the entire time on the plane. And my platform Uggs because I am bringing my platform Uggs to Italy. So, the weather, very important. The weather in Italy when I'm there. If you're watching this like later on, I'm going at the very end of October to early November. So like Halloween time, even though they don't celebrate Halloween there. So not packing any Halloween costumes. Although I thought it'd be fun to dress up as Jennifer Coolidge from White Lotus season two, cause like I'll be in Sicily, but I just couldn't get my shit together enough, obviously because I'm packing at like two o'clock in the morning for this. Yeah, but the weather is gonna be 60s and 70s and sunny. So it's gonna be really nice weather. I'm excited. And that's such a change from what it's like in Chicago right now. So I feel like I'm escaping the cold, which is the best. Yeah, so in terms of shoes, I got my platform Uggs and then I'm bringing these platform Mary Janes from Steve Madden just because I feel like it's a cute fall look and they're relatively comfortable. I'm also bringing these other, literally all my shoes are from Steve Madden. These are Steve Madden too. They're kind of like belly flats, but not. I feel like these are a little bit more comfortable if I don't feel like wearing platforms, even though platforms are like my thing. And then we had to bring some sneakers, New Balance. These are very basic. They're also very dirty. They're very old, but I didn't really prep good with like a good comfortable sneaker. It doesn't have a platform, which I hate. I'm just so used to wearing platforms that I like feel so weird when I'm not, but it'll be okay. I'll survive. Then in terms of clothing, the basics, I packed like probably 12 pairs of underwear, 12 socks, only three bras, plus my like nippies is like the brand that it's called because I usually just wear the sticky boobs I feel so weird saying that online I don't know why I'm like 12 and in terms of PJs I brought one pair of PJs this black set from Skims and another sort of like admin item I guess is this bag of gifts I'm Santa Claus for my cousins that were visiting in Sicily. I brought them like Chicago souvenirs, which I think is cute. Oh wait, actually, so one of my cousins is like six years old and I just thought this teddy bear was the cutest thing. And in terms of accessories, I decided to just bring one purse because it kind of matches with everything. It's like a nice little brown, good for fall. And I wanted to bring something that's inexpensive because I just don't want to be stressed about having any valuables with me, honestly. I'm already bringing my laptop, my phone, my Kindle. That's enough to keep track of. Okay, so in terms of clothing, I am bringing low-key a lot of clothes. I hope this all fits in my carry-on. This could be amended if it does not fit, but I'm bringing two pairs of jeans. I kind of have this outfit like laid out for me for when I land in Italy. I'm gonna go to the bathroom and change so I don't look like a crazy person in my sweats landing in Palermo. In terms of other bottoms, I have these really lightweight pants from Princess Polly that I'm obsessed with. I think they're so perfect for this weather and they're just... So lightweight and so cute. And I also have this plaid skirt. This is from H&M. Again, it just like goes with everything. All of the clothes I picked are like very easily mix and matchable. So I can just like mix and match all of the clothes. I do have like solid outfits planned out, but they're definitely not like 
my fashionista outfits, if you will. Like they're very basic because one, I procrastinated clearly. And two, it's just like with space, like I, I can't be, you know, having like all of these crazy accessories and like moments, like everything needs to be pretty basic and like flow together. And then, oh, two more bottoms. So I have this other pleated skirt. That's just a good basic to have. We'll go with like literally every top I'm bringing. And then some plain brown pants if I need like a more casual pant moment or no a less casual pant moment because this is a little nicer than jeans cool in terms of workout sets i only brought two even though i'm gonna try to work out every day i just like for space reasons and i feel like i can hang these up to dry and just like clean them at the hotel if i need to but i got two pairs of leggings and two pairs of lululemon aligned tank tops everything i'm bringing also i'm trying to be like a little bit more conservative than i would like usually dress i'm not really gonna be going out i'm going with my parents to sicily and sicily isn't really like all of the larger cities in like the mainland of italy it's definitely a bit more like village vibes like i'm going to be going to a lot of churches and i think just the vibes overall in terms of dress in sicily is a bit more conservative so i just want to like be respectful of the culture and everything in terms of tops i have this basic blue long sleeve i feel like long sleeve is a good vibe i feel like all my outfits i'm trying to complement either i'm wearing pants and short sleeve or long sleeve and like a skirt i have this white blouse that i like never wear but i feel like it's kind of giving like an italy moment it's it's giving me old age stuff I don't, like historical times i don't know i have this basic black shirt that has these you know little details on the end and then i have some tights i'm bringing just in case i want to layer with those if it happens to get a little bit colder i have another basic black t-shirt but this one doesn't have any like details this is like an actual basic basic black t-shirt from abercrombie i have this long sleeve black bodysuit which will literally go with every single bottom that i'm wearing so i could totally get away with wearing this every day except that would be disgusting and i'm bringing four dresses so i have like this matronly dress that I feel like is very versatile and comfortable enough to wear in the daytime if I want to. I wore this for my Anna Wintour Halloween costume last year. And then this sweater dress from Abercrombie, I also feel like it's super versatile and so comfortable. This long sleeve dress, I just love this dress. It's gorgeous, it's giving fall, but it's also really good for like 60, 70 degree weather. I wore that to Vicente's sister's rehearsal dinner. And then this is a slip dress that I can layer with like a sweater if I need to. I just figured it's really small so i might as well bring it because i feel like i could totally find a use for it and then in terms of like outerwear i got this blazer just in case i get cold it's a long black blazer i'm also gonna bring this leather jacket just because i feel like it's a good layering moment too and then just in case i think it's gonna get a little chillier the last few days that we're there i have this like turtleneck which i could rewear a few times if i need to um, and it's neutral so it goes with everything so those are all the clothes i'm bringing crazy i have like all my usual accessories and everything in terms of socks i'm bringing some like stylistic socks but a lot of just like lululemon socks yeah that's the rundown on the clothes. Now let's just see if I can fit them in to my rolling carry-on.
It's now 2.41. I'm officially starting to get tired. Good thing we're almost done. I somehow fit all of my clothes into my big carry-on. I'm honestly worried it's gonna break. It is bursting at the seams. So I'm just not gonna touch it. It is so heavy, like I don't think any carry on bag should be this heavy so we're just gonna have our fingers crossed that everything is gonna be fine and my toiletries wouldn't fit in the carry on so i have them in my tote bag but i don't really have a lot of stuff i have to carry in my personal items so i think it should be okay i'm just worried about it being a little too heavy but i think we should be good yeah we're doing this oh my god i have regrets for procrastinating but anyway it'll be okay i guess i should show you guys like what i have in my personal items so far so i just threw in a bunch of random makeup and toiletries into this hope i got everything i don't even have the energy and i did organize a lot of my makeup though in this I don't have an eyeshadow brush, so let me go grab one of those. I also forgot to pack deodorant, so I'm gonna put that in there. That's very important. I need to not forget to pack my laser in the morning. And then I'm gonna put my Kindle and like obviously all of my like phone chargers, my AirPods. Luckily, all of those items are really small. I'm also gonna bring my laptop because I wanna edit short form videos while I'm there. I have this bag with a bunch of band-aids because I always get blisters. I have this kind of wellness bag with my medicine, lemon, it's like this electrolyte mix, vitamin C, some melatonin, it's actually from Array, they're sleep pills for the flight, and two things of chamomile tea because I feel like they never have chamomile tea on flights. Oh my god, you guys, I'm getting so tired. It's hitting me like a ton of bricks. A bag with all my jewelry, a go macro bar, a spoon, and applesauce to take my melatonin because I can't swallow pills without it, you guys. Then, of course, we got my passport and I got a pen just in case. And then I have hand sanitizer and hand lotion, very important, as well as road lip tint and regular road. So that's all my stuff. Crazy. I'm gonna go to sleep and I'll catch up with you guys in the morning. I'm so tired. I'm literally gonna get like five hours of sleep. I guess that's not awful. Wait, three to four, five. four hours of sleep. It'll be okay. I'll survive. Good morning. I am so tired. I slept like three hours. I have my dry bar appointment. I need to call my Uber to get there. I just can't take the bus. Like, you guys, I have no energy. I need to just drink like as much water as possible because I feel like that's the trick. Like, I just need to stay super hydrated. I'm definitely tired. Like, I could go sleep on the flight right now. So, I'm honestly not too worried about having to fall asleep later. But yeah, I want to get a blowout so that my hair will be nice and fresh for Sicily. And I feel like it'll last hopefully a few days. So, see you guys after. I am back home, you guys. The hair is done. Um, I feel like when my hair is done but I don't have makeup on, I look absolutely awful because it's just like such a disconnect. But I love this hair. My hair just feels so clean. It was literally so dirty. So it just, it feels amazing. I feel like getting a blowout was the way to go before flying because I'm just so bad at doing my hair and I feel like this will give me like a solid few days where it's just done and I don't have to worry about it. But I ended up picking up some Flonase. I ran out of nasal sprays and I just don't want to be congested in Italy. But I have brew. Good thing it's all like sealed and everything. I love how they package this. I am like so starving. So this is going to be my breakfast. And I figured a smoothie will be good to get some antioxidants in my body. You guys, I'm like, I feel like not human right now because I just didn't get a lot of sleep. And I just feel like that's such a specific feeling that you don't have at any other moment except when you didn't get enough sleep and it just feels so strange i need to log on to work it's now 9 15 so i got back just in time and i need to write my like out of office notes and just like get everything organized before i log off because i'm gonna think i'm gonna try to leave for the airport at like 11. i'm done with my team meeting it's 11 and my flight leaves at three so i'm gonna try to leave pretty soon but i don't think it's like the biggest deal if i don't get out the door right away i want to redo my skincare because my face already feels kind of gross just need to double check that i have everything and then we're ready to go okay you guys everything is jam-packed to the brim i need to change my shock i need <laughs> Can I talk? I need to change my socks. Three hours of sleep looks great on me. And put lotion on my feet and then change my shoes into these. 
and then head out the door i have anxiety even though i feel like i should be okay on time i really want to brush my teeth but i haven't finished my breakfast and i want to eat that on the way and i'm like the type of person i cannot brush my teeth and then eat something immediately after i have my passport that's the biggest thing that i need i feel like i have everything i need i need to turn on the dishwasher that is important I'm gonna go ahead and call my uber even though i'm not 100 percent ready just because i feel like it always takes them forever to get here i was gonna take the train but like my bags are just too heavy and i have to carry them up the stairs and i just like i can't handle that <laughs> not me trying to call an uber to my literal apartment <laughs> am i okay i don't think i'm okay oh here okay it's not that bad i thought the prices were gonna be insane all right guys we are ready we got everything packed up I will see you guys in Sicily. Ah!